Hi, I'm Ashwin droning on. Now I know that it's not a multi-rotor, but I still think that this will get you quite excited. It's called the Sonic Model AR Wing 900, and it's a very fast brushless powered wing. This is part one of three, so subscribe now to ensure that you don't miss the next two parts where we'll be building and then flight testing this new wing. Links to this product are in the video description, so take a look and let's build it together. Enjoy the video. So here is something very different. This is from RC Moment. Now the evenings are getting dark and miserable, and so we need something to do whilst waiting for flyable weather. Now most drone pilots have in the past flown some form of fixed wing. I think that's fair to say. Comment below if you haven't, but most have, and comment below if you have and let us know what you've been flying. But it's nice to fly wings. Um, a lot of these have autonomous flight controllers as well. So you, some of the pleasures that we enjoy with drones, you can also now get with fixed wing drones like this. For example, return to home if you fit an appropriate flight controller. So maybe for those of you who've never flown fixed wing, this might just be of interest. So this is the AR wing. It's from a company called Sonic Model. And as I said, this was sent to us for review by RC Moment and links to it are in the video description if you're interested in having a go. But basically this is a kit that you build up and basically fly and it comes with most of the components that you need as well. And you build it up and then fly it. <laughs> so we'll have a look at what you get in the box. It's really nicely packaged for a start and Let's see, very nicely presented. This would be a nice Christmas present as well. So we've got a set of different cardboard boxes here. Looks like this first one has some of the electrical elements. So we've got, first of all, our FPV camera system. Now, of course, this will be very similar to the type of camera you get fitted to a tiny little racing quadcopter, and it's an all-in-one VTX and camera. So you see the tiny little antenna there. I believe this is a 200 milliwatt as well. So that's gonna have quite a nice bit of range on it. So also in here, we've got some decals. We've got some little other bits, some covers here, I think for the front of the the wing as well and some other sections here these look like the winglets that go on the outside of the wings that's the first little box we've got so just to make this a bit easier i'll move this big box out of the way so in the next box we have let's have a look this looks more interesting so this is the main assembly of the wing if you can imagine the central area of the wing and it comes with the motor pre-installed. So that's really, really nice as well. And now we've got a 2204, 2300 kV motor. So this is the kind of motor you might see on a racing quad as well, but they give out an immense amount of power. And of course, I would imagine we get a prop in this. Yep, there we go. We get a nice big prop in the kit as well. So a much bigger prop than you'd expect to see than with a racing quad. That's gonna give us a nice bit of power. So inside here are all of the electronics and there's a really nice magnetic system as well. So you use this little pull handle here, pull it up, which unclips the magnets that you see are there. And inside we've got all of our electrical components. So not only does it come with the motor pre-fitted, but we've also got the speed controller, which is a 30 amp uh, speed controller that supports up to a 4S LiPo. We've also got a nice XT60 connector on the end of it, which is good. And also the cable, which runs to our receiver that we obviously have to fit. So essentially the only elements you need to buy here right now are the receiver and the transmitter, which if you're already flying quads or even fixed wing, you're already gonna have those. So a really nice system there for storing all of the electronics and the foam itself feels really good quality as well. Very nice, slick, shiny feel to it. So you're not gonna have to cover it with a smooth film to try and increase aerodynamics because actually it already feels quite smooth. Let's have a look at the other boxes that we've got here. Next box. Now this feels so light, I could believe there's nothing inside it. And there isn't. That's weird. So this one looks more interesting. I'm expecting the wing sections in here. Yep, and there we go. Very, very lightweight. I mean, this wing, once it's fully built up, is gonna weigh hardly anything. And what is really nice to see as well is that the servos are pre-fitted. 
So you don't even have to fit those yourself. <laughs> this is the ultimate in lazy design and build. Uh, but it's great, you know, if you're not used to building this stuff, then that's gonna be a massive time saver for you. The, uh, these are called elevarons because they're essentially a combination of an elevator and an aileron. They're pre-fitted and hinged as well, which is lovely. And I mean, there's nothing to do there. The servo cable is tucked into the end as well, so that needs to run into the main fuselage and then connect into your receiver. And obviously then you've got the fitments on the end and um, on the, the core section there to connect to the master uh, main assembly. So yeah, we've got two of those and we've got a big reinforcing strut there as well, which probably uh, looks like carbon fiber. That runs through the whole thing to keep these wings nice and stable and to stop them folding when you perform any crazy stunts. And then finally in the box, we've got some decals which you can stick onto the finished model and also no manual for building it, but essentially a kind of construction diagram, which is gonna be just about good enough for helping the most basic of builders to be able to put this thing together. So nothing overly complex there. But as I say, I think this would be a really good winter project or at least a great project for when the weather's crap outside and you can't fly. This is gonna give you guys something very new to build and something quite different for a lot of you as well. So this is the first part in our review of this AR wing product. What we're gonna be doing is building this over the next video and then the video after that we'll be flying it. So this review is a three-parter. So if you fancy a bit of a winter project or a gloomy weather project as I do, click on the link in the video description, buy yourself one of these and let's build it together. So click subscribe now to make sure you get notification of part two. And of course, comment below with any thoughts that you have. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks very much for watching.